Good morning, everybody. Book number 32. When Dad Cuts Down the Chestnut Tree by Pam Errors, illustrated by Graham Percy. <clears throat> I like the illustrations here. They're kind of cartoony, but they look pretty real at the same time. I think that's a pretty tree. It's a very big tree. It's a chestnut tree. When Dad cuts down the chestnut tree, oh, what things he'll make for you and me. Looks like Dad's a pretty good carpenter. Oh, Peter's pretty good at carpentry. Grandpa says he's not. But Uncle Chaz and Uncle Adam and Uncle... Klaus all make things. And Tobias, you and Walter are making all kinds of things out of wood these days, too, with your tool set. He's got a saw there and some clamps. Oh, a rocking horse to ride all day. A fort where all my soldiers play. A wheelbarrow painted blue, a faithful duck on wheels for you. You all have some wooden toys that Grandma sent you that one of our friends made. That's their business, they make toys. Stilts to walk on, colored blocks to build a wall. Walter, didn't Uncle Peter build you some blocks? When the tree is on the ground, all our friends will come around. On the trunks, we'll jump and climb. We'll have a lovely time. It does look like fun. No more tearing jacket sleeves. No more sweeping up of leaves. There's a lot of work when you have trees in the yard, isn't it? And when I'm tucked into my bed, kisses kissed and tucked in tight, the tree won't scare me anymore when the wind makes the leaves roar. If there wasn't any tree, what difference would it make for me? Well, no tree house. That's worst of all, to hide in when mom does call. No cool places in the shade when we have run and jumped and played. No leaves to kick and throw about and roll each other in and shout. No sticks to find on chilly days to make our winter fires blaze. And there's another thing. What would happen to our swing? And where will owl and squirrel stay if the tree is hauled away? If the tree is really gone, what can I hang my birdhouse on? Suddenly, we're not so sure we want to cut it anymore. These are special, large and small. So Dad, don't cut it down at all. I like this book because it talks about thinking about both ways. It's like, what are the good things that could happen? 
And then what are the, some of the things that are not so great? We call them the pros and the cons. We think about the good things and the bad things. And that tree book makes me think, hmm, before I choose something, I need to think about it just a little bit. When Dad cuts down the chestnut tree. Sometime when you guys are here, there are so many dead trees on our property. Grandpa has to usually cut one or two of them down every year. So maybe you can watch him cut down one of the trees that are is truly dead and we use and then we use for firewood in the winter. Have a good day.